Now looking ahead in our next section here to yeah. your last term. Uh, yeah. And you, although have, <laughs> we can say this, you have said that before now, but you absolutely. Oh, no, this, this, this is no. I was only ever going to stand <laughs> once, and it was, it was the structure. Anyway, of, still get stuck on that one. But what do you want to? What, what do you want to do in this last thing? Because you, you're sc a scrutineering man. I mean, you are literally on. I don't think you're on any departments, and you're, you're on almost all the scrutiny. I've never been an anti departmental member, and I don't believe in it. But yes. it's not good. Since you were minister, of course. Except for being a minister, that's yeah. a different concept. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you, you, you're pretty well, you scrutineer all these things, yeah, scrutinising so everything, well, yeah. by one department, which I think you can't do anyway. Well, well, no, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't um, scrutinise the Department of Health, but I was very involved in that previously because of the social care side as minister, because previously, many years ago, I've been on the hospital administration committee. Um, uh, and um, I was also on Sir Jonathan Michael's uh, mm. review as the as the MHK on the on the panel re review panel. A lot of people think scrutinising is really what the MLCs are meant to do. Can you, exp or, you know, do, you, do you feel you're, you're doing a valid job in that sense? Being a, or are you wasted almost? Be, be, you know, you're the MHK, not MLC. Some people think that scrutin scrutinising government is wasted. It is not. And um, I, if I'm proud of anything, I, I think I'm proud of the work that the policy review committees have, uh, have done in the last five years. Remember the first five years, uh, they came into being ten years ago. The, uh, initially, when we were finding our way, it was more a historical examination of things that had gone wrong sometime in the past with you know, enormous reports that uh, you know, frankly bored everybody at the end of the day. But the policy review committees have become mo much more interactive and live now, uh, and they're acting as a, a really positive force in the parliamentary process. And we never seem to talk about the parliamentary process, but believe me, it, it's essential. I'm on the Economic Policy Review Committee, the Environment and Infrastructure Policy Review Committee. I set, through Tim Wall's uh, support, I set up the uh, Constitution, Legal and Justice Committee. I'm on the PAC. And there's a lot of, of really good w work going on. But now it's becoming more contemporary uh, and we're producing more shorter reports. And, and another important thing is that the, the way the policy review committees are working, it's got us away from this rather headline-grabbing yaboo politics on the floor of Timwald. The work that the policy review committees do is serious. Uh, and when what government does well, we say so. When we think that there are additional is issues to, to grasp, we say so. Um, uh, uh, and when there's criticism necessary, again, we do that. I think, I so think this next 12 months then, what, what, what are you going to do? Well, uh, it'll, from the policy view uh, perspective, uh, I'm very much looking forward to the emergence of uh, the Constitutional Legal and Justice Committee's uh, Legal Services Review, which will be very significant indeed and has been brilliantly led, no doubt about it, by Jane Poole Wilson. The Landlords Bill is coming forward. You put that forward years ago, Landlord and Tenants, yeah. I think you, yours version was. It, it didn't get anywhere at the time, did well, it? Well, mine was the Landlords and Tenants Bill. This is a much, uh, this is a much more simplified and cut down bill. And you think it'll uh, get through? Uh, it'll get through with a, with a few adjustments and tweaks, yes. I mean, some of those Are tweaks... Are you tweaking? Uh, I haven't examined the data in the clauses sufficiently yet because it's at the, at the consul it's coming to the end of the cons consultation process, uh, and I'll, I'll hone in on it when we see the final bill before us. Um, I'll continue to pursue in the following year the structure of government, which is, I've been, you know, I've been passionate about right the way through. You're going to say silos now. No, you've just said it. So I know. I, yeah, I get a point for that. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Point, seriously, you, 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 that point. was your biggest thing going forever. I mean, did any movement happen on that, do you think? It is. It's Well, I think what, was ha we've, what we've seen is that the, the, the tectonic plates are starting to move. It won't move sufficiently under this Chief Minister because he doesn't like change. But Ow! Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's quite a big statement to, just to mm. throw in there, lob in there. Oh, he's comfortable, yeah. He's comfortable. He the, 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 gov the, government, the governmental structure is old-fashioned, out of date, and inappropriate with what we need to do. And I think m more members understand that change is necessary. We've seen changes coming out of negative situations like hospital... B delete. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, Try again. <laughs> the, the health sector was effectively in the wrong place and an external review brought in not by the department but by Alf Cannon in Treasury showed that there need to, needed to be a restructuring. 
exactly the same thing happened in education. We got ourselves in the wrong place uh, on education. So health should have done we, health or should the Chief Minister have done health? Uh, the review. Well, the, the review was external to the department. Yeah. And that, that's the point I'm trying to make. Education ended up in the wrong place. They had an external review from outside. Again, that, that showed the need to be structural changes. And we've got, was, it's self-evidently, there's, there's changes needed uh, around a number of departments of government, um, most notably DOI, which is a dysfunctional organisation. And I'm not criticising the minister here or the staff in there. It just doesn't work. It's out of date. The Single Legal Entity Committee has done a lot of work and that's been responded to in, in Guernsey uh, and Jersey. Do we still not have a legal and entity? Yes. Do we still not have a legal entity? I know you did a talk with PAG about this recently. Well, no, the, yes I did. The, well, the, 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 all the departments are their own single legal entities. They're, they are their own fiefdoms. I'm not, you, you, not going to use the word you just used there, but <laughs> the there, word. there we go. I, I, I think we'll, we'll, we'll continue to, to, to make progress. Um, I'll be gone. Um, by the time uh, significant change takes place, but I wish those who come after me uh, the best. And the other big issue, of course, is that COVID's still with us, and it's been an agony, as you know, down on the promenade. My constituency's been to, to Helena Handcart and back, and, it's <laughs> and we're still, to some extent, there. And there's a lot of work to do to steer the sector, the, 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 the promenade, through to uh, better days. So mm. that that will take up a lot of my well, time. This time next year, whatever. Well, yeah, when Tim will this goes, time next year, dissolves. I've gone. Yeah, but I'll do I'll do a proper interview. You know, that sort of exit interview with you, if you like. <laughs> right. But yeah. in, in the last few minutes, and I'm going to give you longer than normal. Let's let's rate first of all yourself um, out of ten. I don't want to rate. I, I, I'm, I'm oh, going to. Ah, you don't have, no to. One, don't have well, to. Well, I'm do not they? going to, and I'm not going to, right. because there are some really good things that have happened, and there are some really worrying things that that, that have happened, and there are some things that shouldn't that, that should have happened and haven't, and it's impossible. Paul, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's impossible to capture it uh, in in a number. Well, people can sometimes give me more I than could, one. There yeah. are those I could praise uh, happily. Uh, there's some super work going on. There are others I've got severe reservations about, and you can't. Can you tell me who have you got se severe reservations about? Do you want to tell well, me about? Uh, no. Besides think, the ones you already said, or you I, I think I've covered the, the main areas. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't uh, register in, um, in in a single number. Okay, your choice. But and this one going to be longer because I, I, the the, the Quail administration. I want to vote a number out of ten if you want to give me that. But there, I, I want a bit of flesh on the bones a bit more. About what, now? Or yeah, right now, just well, a minute's worth of, anyway, yeah, sort of thing, just to finish off with. Uh, what would you give them out of ten? you going to give us? No, no, it's a, no, overall, it's a, it's a disappointment. Um, so, I, like a, a C minus, if we're doing it in sort of school language? A B? I don't want to put words in your mouth, or, 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 or a number out of ten. So whatever, whatever well, you, feel you see, like. even a number there, it, it, it would denigrate those who've done well I yeah. inside administration. I, I, You've you've asked me the Quail administration. I mean, how, how is my next door neighbour? He's, he's a nice guy, but um, he hasn't driven change in government in the way that he should. I mean, for example, a small example: the, the size of government is increasing again. That should not be happening. When this for this house is established itself for four odd years ago now. Um, I wasn't even allowed to use the word in in, uh, in Timwall, the smaller, smarter government. Oh. We still need a smaller, smarter government, and it was it was a naughty word, um, and that was that was closed down. Um, it, it, it disappointment. Okay, well, people watching this might say, "Well, he's not in government. That's why he's just p having a pick." Did you ever? No, when you no, came I out. Did you did you got offered parts? And you mean positions and things, or, or did you? I, I didn't want to be engaged did, in. Did you ever have that conversation though? No, no. He didn't say. No, no, I, no. I, I, I didn't want to be involved. I, 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 I'd step. Remember, I'd stepped down from from executive posts in the last administration, mm -hmm. um, and I decided to dedicate myself to parliamentary work uh, and to structural issues. And I've done that. Con I think my record shows I've consistently done that all the way through, and we'll do it to the last day when um, I'm finally chucked out. Uh, so you're not just sniping from this sideline sort of thing. Oh no, and I, I, I am not doing that. I've been constructive. I've focused on what I think needs doing, 
uh, never underestimate the importance of the parliamentary process in its interaction with the executive and don't underestimate the importance of LegCo in its role inside Timworld. Go on, say silos. No, you've said it twice now, so I don't know. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul.